which they also have in Mizuno. Ashley found a, a Callaway Big Bertha Fusion. That sounds delicious. Oh. Guys, welcome back. Today we're going thrifting for golf clubs. Also, we need to do a little holiday shopping for the family. But first, I have a treat for you and not for John. He'll probably just edit this out though, but I figured I'd give it a shot. He's inside getting a haircut and he has the absolute worst luck with haircuts. So either way, it's going to be an interesting time. We should have fun. Uh-oh, he's already got his hat on. I had a feeling she was gonna film that, so I brought the hat, but this might be the worst haircut yet, but- uh, Yeah, that might be the worst one. Let's go do some thrifting. Uh, hopefully that'll cheer me up. <laughs> Oh, we got a super duper sure out. That's pretty cool. Pink grip. Doesn't even have grooves. It's got dots instead. That's pretty fancy. I'm not sure how much the clubs are in here. We'll have to uh, check out. They usually don't have clubs, but this bag is also pretty, uh, pretty sick. What is, oh, it's a Mizuno bag. Huh. Never seen one like that. 20 bucks. That's not terrible. Hopefully the clubs are a little bit less than that, yeah. but uh, what'd you get? <laughs> Adam's Idea Hybrid. Adam's Idea oh, Hybrid, a little lefty. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Might save that for the uh, nieces in case one of them's a uh, lefty. Not sure yet, <laughs> so uh, we'll uh, save that for a future gift. We got that rocket a couple of videos ago. We're uh, upgrading here. We got a uh, helicopter, a two-seater. There's only one of these and there's two of these. Ashley picked these out. Uh, what is this? Frozen 2 Fun Camping Kit. Oh, it's got a... Uh, sleeping bag, a tent, flashlight, and a bag. That's pretty awesome. We can do like a survival challenge in this. This place usually doesn't have clubs, but today we got a few different bags. It looks like they've just been donated. We got a uh, McGregor autograph. Oh, Jack Nicholas irons. These things are sexy. Almost as sexy as those uh, Wilson goosenecks that I got a couple of uh, videos ago. Oh, this is a full set of those. I'm not sure how much the clubs are here, but uh, we get a good deal in those. I'll just pick those up. They'd be fun to hit. What do we got over here, Ash? Old Wilson uh, Persimmon. We got, uh, oh, those are pretty awesome too. <laughs> Mig what are those? Sorry. Dunlop, Max Powers. Uh, what else do we got in here? Oh, a Callaway oh. Tuttle putter. <laughs> we found the Warbird putter the other day. This one's kind of similar, but not as uh, goofy looking. This one's more of a putter. The last one we got, the uh, Warbird putter, is kind of like a uh, like a collector's item more so. But oh, I actually use this grip on my uh, TP Mills Lampkin Crossline cord. Putter grip. We're definitely gonna pick that up. Maybe I'll have better results. Yeah, the Warbird putter was the only putter <laughs> that Ashley's ever tried that she uh, didn't make putts no. with. So uh, we'll see if this one's any different. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get some lunch here. Uh, they got a bunch of different options. I'm gonna pick out Ashley's lunch. She's gonna pick out mine. Then we're gonna meet up and pay for it. So yeah. This should be fun for me. I don't know about for you. We got some uh, lemon thyme carrots. That doesn't look like uh, it's very good. Sweet potato black bean burrito. Yeah, I'm not gonna get her anything crazy. I don't think she's gonna mess with me. I got you a sweet potato black bean burrito. That Thought sounds, you would like that. That sounds delicious. Delicious, okay, we're positive reviews. What'd you get me? Mine sounds healthy. A uh, baby kale and Brussels sprout salad. Baby <laughs> kale and Brussels sprouts. I spent six bucks on you. You only spent two twenty-four. Yeah. Oh, you got some dressing though. I'm stingy. Yeah, you got me dressing. Well, at least you did that. Well, it's probably, a, it's probably pretty good. <laughs> it's probably pretty good. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of liking that uh, burrito. We got some Zevia. Ashley's trying to get me off the uh, Diet Coke, so she's just, yeah. We'll see how it is. This might be one of the more bizarre uh, golf club uh, assortments that we've seen so far. There are knockoffs of clubs that are also in the bag. So uh, we're going to do a little trivia here, see if Ashley can spot them. All right, this one right here should be easy. What do we got? That looks like a tailor-made. Yeah, that one's a tailor-made R7 or R9 knockoff. And there's one right here. Oh, it's a tour burner. It looks exactly the same. This is left-handed, kind of funny. All right, we got one more in here. Let's see if you can spot them. Yep, that's the correct one. What's that a knockoff of? Uh, Adams? No, that's Adams tight lies. That's uh, incorrect. That's another one. Oh, I couldn't see Yeah, Mizuno <laughs> MX-17. These ones look more like the uh, Mizuno MX-23s, but how random is that? Oh, wow. Bunch of them. That is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> right, they came back and showed us some uh, clubs that they uh, just got donated, a bunch of them. You said that somebody took the putters, though, so somebody got out of here pretty good. Got a Divine 9 uh, Callaway. This looks like a oh, Callaway uh, Big Worth of Steelhead 3+. Plus. Which flex do we got in here? Oh, old True Temper EI-70. Tour Stiff Flex. Got a couple of Seven Woods. 
another one of those uh, Cobra irons, some lefty uh, Callaway uh, Steelhead X16. All right, we got one more little guy that we're buying for today. We got the two nieces covered, and then we have a nephew as well who's seven months old, but us Armstrongs are gigantic, so uh, yeah, we're looking in the 12-month stuff just to be safe. Oh, here we go. We got a Jordan onesie. That's pretty cool. How much is this? 20 bucks. That's awesome. Oh, it's six months. We're in the 12-month section. They have a six-month thing in there. That's not cool. I would totally have gotten that, but uh, yeah. Uh, would it, I got you, oh, oh <laughs> what is this fabric called the uh, velour, velour or whatever $25 for the little guy worth it definitely <laughs> worth it that's how much the uh, the other stuff that we got for the nieces are so <laughs> two-piece Jordan set he's gonna be looking pretty awesome we, we should go see if they have uh, baby Jordans we checked through the shoes they don't have any Jordans but we do have some Jordan socks right here we got the black and red to go with it we got some grippy socks up here wish I had a pair of those got some more Jordans down there but I think we're gonna go with this one because it's black and red made it out to the course excited to try out the clubs not so excited about John's haircut luckily the hat covers it and it grows back what are you excited about John not my haircut, but I am excited about that Brussels sprout and uh, kale salad. Actually went back there today and got another one. That was delicious. So thank you for uh, giving the tip on that. But uh, we got a 360 yard par four right here. I'm going with the uh, Big Bertha Steelhead 3 plus. Hopefully leave a uh, good yardage for Ashley and her 11 wood, which I'm also excited to uh, try out. But she's the boss. She gets to hit it first. Let's get started. This might be my new three wood. Absolutely stunning condition for how old it is. Shaft felt really good. Might be my new three wood. Let's go uh, see Ashley hit that 11 wood. John's three wood went a little further than we thought, so I'm gonna use the 11 wood the next hole, but this hole I'm going with the MX-17 pitching wedge. Oh, right at it. <laughs> got an eagle, we got an eagle. <laughs> oh man, that was sick. Need to get you some Mizuno irons. Yeah, that felt really nice. <laughs> All right, not as close as we thought from back there, but still a really good shot. We're going with the uh, Callaway Tuttle. Ashley uh, had no luck with the uh, Warbird putter, but... Hopefully better <sighs> results. Oh. Dang, the greens are fast today. Did it feel better than the, uh, what yeah. is it, the Warbird putter? It feels at least slightly better than that. Yeah. Guys, let us know if you want to see the Warbird putter versus the Warbird three wood challenge. We'll hit them both <laughs> off the tees and putt with both of them. That should be fun. 400 yard par four. John's going with the three wood again and hopefully we'll have better yardage for the 11 wood this time. Definitely going in the bag. That's uh, I never hit three woods good in the bag. Perfect yard is for the 11 wood, but uh, check this out guys. The Big Bertha Warbird 11 wood. You know how people have their names right there? I don't know if you could read it, but her name was Bertha M. Well, I won't say her last name, but how cool is that? She's got a uh, Big Bertha Warbird and her name was Bertha. I thought that was kind of cool. It's almost like the Ashley Golf Iron. Oh yeah, the Ashley Golf <laughs> Clubs that we found last time. We need to buy you a full set of those and test them out. You can be, a sp I don't even know if they still make them, but you can be their official unpaid yeah. sponsor. <laughs> little bit to the right might give that one another try but that'll be a perfect shot for that super duper wedge seemed to work I'm gonna go throw one in the bunker and I think that's what it's made for but I uh, will try it out from there too It uh, super duper sure did get it out of the bunker. Yeah. Time for the knockoff versus the real deal. We got an MX-17 uh, Mizuno right here, and I don't even know what this is. It looks like a uh, MX-23 more so than the MX-17, but I think it'd be kind of cool to see how they feel. Distance wise, it doesn't really matter because this is a six iron, this is a five iron, but uh, yeah, I'll just move up a little bit for the six iron. Let's see how they go. Hit that to about 10 feet. This was the uh, MX-17. This is the last two times I played this hole. I've hit it super close. I like never hit the green when it actually matters in a tournament, but uh, yeah, felt really good. That 
that actually went a little bit further, had a little bit more penetrating of a ball flight, but uh, you can definitely tell that this is cast and not forged. I hit this one and the other one pretty much the same, but uh, Mizuno way softer. Pretty uh, similar ball flights. This one was a little bit lower, surprisingly. But uh, yeah, if you ever see some uh, X-Tech XR7s, cheap, might buy them, but Mizuno, all the way. I'm going with the Big Bertha Fusion 6 iron. When these things first came out, if you got them all decked out with like graphite shafts and everything, they're like $2,000 for three through pitching wedge. So uh, I mean, I guess that's nothing compared to like PXGs now, but for the time, super expensive. Right at it, a little bit. Dang, that was forgiving. I thought you like topped that. Yeah. <laughs> How'd it, it feel? Did not feel pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> Checking out where those balls ended up. This was the uh, six iron of the knockoff. It actually probably would go further if I hit both of them on the same line and both had six irons. Ashley's over there with the uh, MX-17. She's gonna knock this in for birdie. And on command, oh, lip out. <laughs> Guys, Callaway putters and Ashley do not get <laughs> along. Warbird or the Tuttle, I don't know. All right, guys, there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Highlights of the video were definitely that Brussels sprout salad from yesterday. The uh, Big Bertha Steelhead 3 Plus, absolute classic. You can find this in a lot of thrift stores, so I definitely recommend picking one up. It's going straight into my bag. Low lights of, uh, yeah, pretty much everything was this haircut. I don't know why she brought the sideburns so far up. Not even even. She had smoky hands. Just didn't really enjoy that. But uh, what were your highlights? Definitely Aldi for kids toys. They had Frozen, Toy Story. Yeah, they had like Barbie. Oh, if you're looking for some sweet J's, definitely go to Burlington Coat Factory. That's the place to go. So uh, yeah, hopefully you liked the video and we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys.